Okay. Uh, I think this is one of the air level pass year, and 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 this is the topics of the binomial theorem. Yeah, and I will make this video because one of the student actually go to my Facebook page to ask me about this question, and I find out this question actually is quite similar to the O level, or or somehow very similar to the. IGCSC additional mathematics syllabus. So I decided to uh, just make a quick video for for this one. So in this video, basically, I want I I will emphasize on the part two. However, I will also teach you how to use the part one answer actually to to solve for the part two. All right, just do not waste your time. We just go into this question quickly. All right, so first. First, in part one, it's very simple. If you learn about binomial theorem, it asks you to find the first three term in the expansion of two minus y power of five. So in the ascending power of y, so that means the y power will become bigger and bigger. I mean power one, power two, power three, something like that. All right. So, all right. So I'm going to solve the number one first. Okay. So I will solve number one. All right. So if I expand the two minus y power five. All right, so the first term is basically is just two power five, and then the second term you will plus, uh, the second term will be five c one, and then you will get two, and then here will be five minus one. You just you just you just remember something like this five minus one, so you get four. All right, and then negative y, negative y is actually the power here will be five minus four is one, and then this term is always same with the r. All right, so the next term will be. Five c two and then two. Okay, you just remember two minus five. Ah,、uh, five minus two, you get three. Five minus three, so the next term you will get five minus three, you will get two. It's always same with the r, All right? And then plus dot 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 because the question only asks for the first three term. The first term, second term, third term. Okay, first three term. All right. So and then I just like simplify it. So yeah, and then two power five, you get thirty two. And then five c one is five multiple sixteen. I will need a calculator. Alright, so just five multiple sixteen. I think it's eighty, isn't it? Yeah, it's eighty. So because this is minus, so it become minus eighty y. And the next term will be five c two, and just use your calculator. Five c two is ten multiple two power of three, which is eight. So you get eighty, and then negative square you get positive. So it will be plus eighty y square plus dot dot dot. All right, I have done the part one. It's very simple. All right, so then I will go into the uh part two. All right, the part two. So the question says use the result in the part one. To find the coefficient of x square in the expansion of this one, so now you have this expansion, and then the question basically want the coefficient of x square. Yeah, if you do not understand what is the meaning of coefficient, coefficient basically means the number in front of the x square. So I just give a, give a quick example here. So let's say I have seven x power of three plus ten x square minus five x. So the coefficient of x square over here will be positive ten. Mean the number in front of the x square. If I if I if I want the coefficient of x power of three, it will be seven. If coefficient of x power of one, it will be negative five. Alright. So whenever they say coefficient, means the number in front of the term they want. Okay. But sometimes they will use the word independent of x. That means they want x power of zero or the constant number. Alright. So okay. So from over here, what I want you to see is, is the pattern. Right. Be in order to find the x square, you will need to see the pattern between the part one and part two. This is two minus y power five. So, okay, just assume the bracket here. You just assume this one is y. Then you will see two minus y power five. Do you see that? Actually, it's exactly the same. Two minus the whole thing is y power five. So that means what? Means So over here, as uh, this is what I see is the y basically will equals to two x minus x square. So I just assume, or I can use the word let y equals to two x minus x square. So 
then I can use the answer in my part one to actually solve this uh, solve this thing. All right, then the question one, the coefficient of x squared. So what I will do over here is, okay, I will, I will just r copy down the expansion I have in the part one, okay, which is 32 minus 80y plus 80y squared. Why, why I will leave, the, leave it as a bracket over here is because I'm going to substitute the 2x minus uh, 2x minus x squared into the bracket because this is y, isn't it? So my y will become 2x minus x squared. So I just do some substitution. So this is 2x minus x squared. All right, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, I hope you, 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 you understand until now. So then what I will need to do is I will, I will need to find a coefficient of x squared. So first is, the first term over here, impossible, I will get something to do with x squared. But over here, yes. Over here, actually, I, if negative 80, if negative 80, I multiply negative x squared, I can get positive, x, uh, positive 80 x squared, right? So I just write here, the coefficient of x squared mean all the possibility I will write it down so coefficient of x squared is negative 80 multiple the negative 1 all right I will not write the x squared uh, into the coefficient here because I just want the number in front of x squared as I mentioned just now all right and then over here I will need to find a coefficient of x squared also okay because over here negative 80 multiple 2x is just positive uh, it's it just x power of 1 I will I won't get any any term of x square. Alright, so so I will move on to this one. This one if I expand this equation, what I will have is I will get four x square minus uh four x cubed plus x power four. This is what happened if I expand this uh uh when I expand this power of two. Alright, so you just assume if I have the 80 outside, the 80 in order to get x squared, I will multiply the first term only. Because if 80 and multiply the second term, I will get x power of 3. 80, if I multiply the third term over here, I will get x power of 4. I want x squared only. So I say it's 80 multiply 4. So this is how I get the coefficient of x squared. So it's just 80 plus 320. So it will, uh, it will be 400. It's not mistaken. Alright, so yeah, it's quite simple. I think this one is just like three, uh, the whole question is just three to four mark. Alright, so the only important here is the, uh, set, uh, uh, the only important information in the second part over here is you must get the idea, uh, they are, they are basically the, exactly the same pattern. So this is two minus y power five, this is two minus y, the whole thing is y power five. Because they might have the same power and same pattern, then only you can use their uh, expansion. Alright, I hope you, you do understand my explanation. Anyways, thanks for watching.